Hi, I'm Jonathan Paula, and welcome to this trailer commentary and review of 20th Century Fox's upcoming action superhero film, X-Men Apocalypse. I, I'm just doing this off memory. I think this is the eighth or ninth film in this series. They have all been largely good or better than good. None of them have been huge stinkers. I think Wolverine or Wolverine Origins, I, I get them mixed up. One of them, I think we can all agree, was, was pretty bad. But the rest have been really solid. This Super Bowl commercial gives us a glimpse at the next chapter, X-Men Apocalypse. And once again, we get another trailer using a slowed down choir to set an ominous mood. Like, why can't movies be fun? Why do they always have to be scary, apocalyptic crap? Oh, right, because this is called Apocalypse. Yeah, fine. Apocalypse means to destroy this world. Now, apparently Apocalypse is some huge villain in the comics. I'm not familiar with him, but in this shot, he seems to be 40 feet high. So consider me impressed, also scared, slash interested. And what seems like commonplace for the Marvel Universe, we get buildings sucked up into the sky for some reason. That's, that's bad guy's M.O. now. Just, hey, you like Earth? What if we sucked it up like a vacuum cleaner? What is this, space balls? Whoa, what do we got here with the pink lightsaber? Oh, it's Olivia Munn coming into action. Looking good, as always. I, I don't feel like that outfit doesn't offer a lot of protection, but on the plus side, cleavage. Let's go to war. You got it, J-Law. Whoa! Now see, with his helmet on, I feel like Fassbender looks very, very similar to Ian McKellen's portrayal of Magneto. Like, they did a really great job casting. They got actors that looked the part and, and felt the part, I think, which is more important. Once again, though, the X-Men are destroying bridges. That's sort of what they do. They pick up bridges and use them as their own personal walkways and or weapons. I wish they would sort of leave well enough alone. People in Manhattan need these bridges to go places, and you've ruined that for them. Only the strong, oh, Cyclops will survive. X-Men Apocalypse, it comes out on May 27th. Uh, we got a lot of quick glimpses in this trailer. I don't know what to think yet. I feel like definitely giving this series the benefit of the doubt is the way to go. They sort of did a soft reboot in the most recent requel where they, they, they brought old back into the new, but they, the old timeline. So does this movie still take place in like what, the 80s or the 90s? I don't, I can't really keep track of what they're doing, but it's been good. So I'm gonna give this one a shot. Let me know your thoughts on X-Men Apocalypse in the comments below. Until next time, my name is Jonathan Paula. Thank you for watching and have a good movie night.